um, and Luke Heats does everything in trilogies. Mm -hmm. I actually smell like the real C. <laughs> Most of them just. I said, actually smell like the real sea, like, like the oh, seaside. Right, right. Like the marine, yeah. yeah. So you've got, like, your, this one is, Cyrenus is supposed to be, like, the mermaid. Mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of swimming above and below. And then, um, Navis is, like, the fisherman in the boat. And it has some kind of woodier notes to it. And then the Abyssus is the... Which one you like better? I actually really like the Abyssus. It the dry down on it's real nice. Oh, okay. It's this, you know, it's the oodiest of all three of them, uh -huh. um, and the deepest. And um, I mean, this one is going to be more sweet and light. And the dry down's nice on it, but this to me, as it dries, it, it um, it's really fresh, but. That nice woodiness to it, too. Okay. So, I just feel like from Complex City, I like that. I don't want to be in the hill. Oh, okay. So, you don't want to be in my channel? <laughs> okay. Yeah. What's what the price run on these? What's that? What's the price on them? So, they. Most of them are 200. Uh -huh. The newer ones, like the Blanche Bet, is 280. Uh -huh. And uh, this new one, Del Rosa, is uh, 280. They've added more oil to uh, oh, okay. the newer ones. Okay. So, and um, this one is, is kind of a remake of the original, uh -huh. celebrating its 10 year anniversary. Oh, okay. So, and they did it kind of like a champagne wrapper and all. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So. Oh, okay. Anyway. Okay. That's more of a softer, cleaner scent. Now, another good one in this line would be Blockade. No, I, I, I hear a lot of people talking about uh, Blockade. Yeah. This one here is another good smelling fragrance. Now, in this line up here, this fragrance here be called, is called Grand Master. Grand Master. Okay. Now, this one be a little more intense, but it, oh, it smells so good. Especially Hello? when you put it on. Yeah, I don't like them old, old simple, mm -hmm. everyday mass appealing fragrance. I like some dark and yeah. Yeah, they got, they got cough in it on it. It smells so good. What you get from the mask? Because I want to. That one's kind of strong. See, I like those kind of scents. You yeah. don't like them. Right, and this is basically a unisex brand. Mm -hmm. There you have it. So what's your favorite from the line? My favorite? Is this one here and this one here. Let me see that again. That's Kyra and then also the blockade. Don't you have one that's it start with a C but have an S in it? Casa or something? Do you have that one? I think that's one I smell. Oh this is a this is, this one we can't keep in. And this one here. Matter of fact, we got if we do one, just have to order it because mm -hmm. we sell out. And what's the name of this one? Uh, just say uh, the joke. There you go. I like that too. It smells like tangerine or something in this mm -hmm. one. Uh, kind of musty, kind of got, got a musky smell too. Yeah. I don't see 
that one you're speaking of? I think it's Casa or Case. No, the Casa would be the, just Cairo. Oh, Cairo. Okay. It's called Cairo. Okay. That's the one. What do you talk feel like? Oh, it's heavy. Okay. Come on here. Thank you. All right, my man, I sure All appreciate right. it. Okay, you have yourself a great day. All right, thank you. All right, take care. All right. Really good. No, I'm just kind of filming for my channel, that's all. But. Oh, you're filming for your channel? Yeah. Oh, you're a perfume guy? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I have a lot of guys coming here to film for the channel. Yeah. Oh. But, um, I don't know if you know Miriam Cavado. Who? Miriam Cavado, which is a it's skincare for the hair. Uh -huh. And, um, bald men and men with beards love it. For real? Yes. You need to know about that brand, so you can put it I need to know about it. It's exclusive here. For real? I mean, what exactly does, does it do? Well, it's a, it's a vegan, lots of technology. It's built for aging hair. So once you turn 50, I don't care who you think you are, your hair is aging, it's falling out, it's thinning, it's doing a lot. So they have a treatment line for all these situations. Um, so a lot of bald men think they shouldn't be doing anything to their hair because I don't have any hair. But you have skin, so this is skin care for the hair. Mm -hmm. That's the way you talk about it. Oh, okay. So they have beard, serum for your head. They have um, oil and a 
elixir. It's called Precious Elixir. It has UVA, UVB. So there are a lot of dangers to bald heads. And if you're not protecting it with skincare, mm -hmm. skincare for the hair, then you expose yourself. To oh, okay. That so. Any preferences of? How do I know that you like leatherish woods or stuff? Hmm. How do I know that you like this type of fragrances? You knew that. Yeah, for some reason. I was gonna introduce you to uh, Orilla. It has cranberry, Irish leather. And what's the name of that? Orilla. Yeah, I really like that. I smelled it through the ball and it was. Also, Eau de Capital. It has peppercorn in it. Not too overwhelming. There's another one I like. You want to know my taste. <laughs> um, and what the prices on these? Two, uh, 220. 220. Yeah, I love this those. This is um, 34. Can you hold that parfum? Uh, okay. Are you here Monday? No. Jimmy, no. I'm off Sunday. First one was my favorite. I actually like the first two. Tempo is very nice. I like it's kind of very different. You're not gonna, you're not smelling anything like it. Uh, oud palau. If you like oud, oud palau. A lot of people like it. Oud lovers. No. 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 See it. I appreciate you. Maybe about three of them. At, um, no, it was this niche store in. Um, it's called Indie House. Uh, you said at a niche. It was a uh, Indie House. Indie House. Yeah. In Alpharetta. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So did you smell rock rose? No. Nah, oh, this is their number one seller in the U.S. Like you, what you like. Exactly. So number one in the U.S. Um, worldwide, the original collection sells the best. As you know, in other parts, but in the U.S., it's, it's uh, rock rose. Can you get any out? The newest. And where is this? This is blonde amber. It's our newest. And it's the. No, I really love it. That. that smells really good. So you just didn't see the right Yeah, see, it was only like three and nine. Yeah. So blonde amber, um, it's at the base of it, it's blonde tobacco, amber, tonka. Uh, so there's like vanilla, rum, cherry, it's a gourmet. And it has some dark fruits in the heart. Um, but it's definitely uh, like a rich, yummy, delicious fruit. I love that. Mm -hmm. You would have bought it like that, Ron. $5.50. Okay. Pure perfume, high oil concentration, and complexity of ingredients. It's, it's, it's got over 200 ingredients. So this this rock rolls and this is? Blonde amber. Blonde amber. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And then you can come in and you can get a like you This is called amber wood. Amber wood. So I typically make pairs. So amber wood has got the amber in the base. It's also got um, sage in the top, the heart, and the base. And it's different, like sage oil, different forms of sage. And so it's a 
fresh woody. I like that too. It, and it, to me, on the skin, this one even sells, smells better. Do it. it? It definitely is, to me, a skin scent. It just um, it comes out fresh and, and woody and a little sweetness to it. Can I spray a little bit? Just mm -hmm. a little bit on? No. Cosmos Classic. And this is a gourmand as well. So it's more fruity. It's got cherry and lemon. And it's um, going to give you more. Uh, it's kind of a delicious, yummy, fruity kind. I like it because it's different, but I don't like it because I it don't. So as Clive dries down as well, to, to me it's definitely um, the fragrances under the Clive house are ones that you need to let marinate. You mm -hmm. need to let them settle on your skin and open up and breathe because they're so complex. Most of them have over 200 ingredients. So anywhere from like 150 up to over 200. Uh -huh. And so the more they dry, the better they get, the more they open up and the more ingredients you know, you'll, you'll smell and you'll pick up. Okay. And, and the way that they kind of mix and, and marry you know, together and just This one's called Jump Up and Kiss Me. Jump Up and Kiss Me. Jump Up and Kiss Me. That's an issue. Okay. So it, um. Yeah, I like that. I thought you would. So <laughs> this one, uh, again, as it dries, it's going to change. So I always recommend and suggest to clients that they, you know, sit with it a minute because it's definitely going to transition. Um, this one, it starts out a little fresh with bergamot in it, and then, but it dries down. It's got amber and patchouli, so you've got some deeper notes in the base of it. Um, it's got addictive fusion in it, which is kind of almost narcotic-like. It's got a flower in it that, um, so there's a pear. It's called um, hedonistic and ecstatic. Jump up and kiss me is the pair. Oh, okay. And the uh, story goes it's based on Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. Mm -hmm. And there's a fairy that runs around with a flower, putting a spell on everyone as they sleep. So when they wake up, the first person that they look at, they fall in love with and, and uh, you know, kiss. Oh, okay. So. But that flower is in I love that the fragrance. Right so, I love that. It's kind so, of so appetizing, these are, hypnotic, you know? So these these two are my favorite. Now, which one was that again? That one's the blonde amber. Okay, blonde amber. Which you liked immediately. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then this one? Okay, uh, yeah. Jump up and kiss one? me, yes. Mm -hmm. Two yeah. really good choices. Oh, okay. See, you just had to yeah. find the right person yeah. to show you. Exactly. Yeah. And you're doing a great job yeah. for my channel. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Exactly. <laughs> so C is really, a, to me, a classic woody leather scent. It's got oud in it as well. Now I have something that smells similar to this. So I will tell you it does um, Tuscan leather. Tuscan leather. Form. Yeah, exactly. I, I own it. So that's why you yeah. recognize it. This is just going to give you a little more elevated experience. Yeah. It's got a higher oil concentration. Both are beautiful fragrances. This one, um, it just, it's, it it's has, a little bit more manly to, to Yeah, me. and it has a, probably a little bit more complexity with uh, yeah. some, some ingredients and so forth. Um, you know, they're they're the same but different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that one's a really good one, and this one comes from Clyde Christian's private collection. Uh -huh. So um, that one's good, and then. This one is a woody floral. Mm -hmm. Kind of fe smell feminine a little bit. 
so it is. Yeah. It's a more feminine fragrance, um, whereas you know this is a little more masculine. Uh, Clyde had typically made feminine masculine fragrances. Um, but now most of them are unisex. But you know every, yeah. everything's going to you know unisex. Yeah. But originally they came in pairs, so you have a, a feminine and a masculine in each. Mm -hmm. um, the Noble Collection, they don't say feminine and masculine. It's just some lean a little more masculine and some lean a little more feminine. The Private Collection, he had originally done a whole series of the masculine and a whole series of the feminine mm -hmm. with his name spelled out. Clyde, and the way you tell the difference, the masculine, the design is more sharp edges, and the feminine looks more swirly and florally, like, you know, oh, okay, see. you see the difference yes. in the patterns. So, they just kind of kept all the top sellers to spell Clyde still. Oh, okay. But, there's some really interesting fragrances, and to me, I feel what sets Clive apart from other fragrance houses is that um, all the fragrances, none of them smell like anything else. They don't, and they don't smell like each other. You can find some fragrance houses where you smell one or two, and then they all kind of start smelling very similar. Um, with Clive, each fragrance that you smell is going to be very different from the other one. So. Um, we have about 22 fragrances in total, and they're all very different from one another. Um, this one is called Crab Apple Blossom, and it is going to be a nice, clean, fresh scent. It's got Crab Apple Blossom in the top notes and then the heart has a mojito infusion so you've got a little lemon lime you've got a little marine bergamot like the base it. of it has a creamy sandalwood and creamy driftwood so it's going to go from being kind of a sweet to a citrus fresh to a woody oh, okay. a, a creamy woody I like that. Yeah, that's that's man, really good. Yeah, so really, I, yeah. really. That's you a, just, you just. Yeah, see, I, to I, the, yes. They only had like three anyway. It's about three. They yeah. probably had the original collection, is my guess. Yeah. And they all smell just plain to me. To you, yeah. yeah. But these, these all, these actually smell like they're well developed. Mm -hmm. yeah. They are. Mm -hmm. They are. They are. All right, I don't want to take up mo no more of your time. No. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, my pleasure, my yeah. pleasure. Yeah. And what about... At least I gave you a little, you know, something else to... Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Don't... What, All right, the, the last time... To rent what, yeah, to rent so, Not my wheelhouse, because I work for Clyde. Oh, okay. But, um, he's around here somewhere. Turkey yeah. is their number one seller. This one is their number one seller. Um, and then... Cassiopeia and the white bottle, wherever that one is, that's another top seller for mm -hmm. them. See the oil on there? That on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He just wanted the information. Yeah. Number one in the office. That's Kirky? Kirky. It's sandalwood, musk, patchouli, lavender, and the, the sweetness will be a passion fruit. Mm -hmm. That smells really, really good. With the sheep. Oh, that's another good seller. A good seller, this one is very, very good. Yeah, that's another good seller. Yeah, that's another good seller. Which one is that? It's Caballera. Oh, both of them smell good. I'm actually doing this for a YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> I like both of those.
Now on this one, they make only 1,000 bottles for the year. After that, we we'll keep 20, 24. And what's, what, what they run? About 200? How much they run? This one's 500, 290, and 375. Oh, okay. And for this one, this is a packaging. Oh, that's nice. The packaging. Okay. You don't mind me putting you on my channel, do you? Oh, well, the pair of me. I need to charge you for that. Uh, uh, well, I, won't, I won't put you on that. I'm eh? wanted for the FBI. Oh, okay, no, nah, I won't put you on that. All right, appreciate it. Yeah, all right, baby. Let me smell one more. What else you got? Uh, one more with very, very good for men. Oh, this one. I use this one for me. It's woody, it's wood, but nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. That too. Very nice. It's the I, same packaging with the light on I never smelt this. I never smelt this house before. My ex my first time and I own a lot of fragrances. <laughs> you want some on you? Huh? I already have some. I have. Okay. Oh. Appreciate it. I right, appreciate it man. Oh, you're welcome. Appreciate it. I'm gonna go find my, my, my soon-to-be wife, so she's not got lost on me. <laughs>